Hello, this is Shiding, and I'm going to show you how to make a solar square. Now, solar square is this pretty big solar array. This is just a few blocks unchecked, and it generates a lot of power. Now, I'm going to show you how to make this thing. So, first what you do is make a 9x9 nine nine square, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then you make it too deep. Now, next, what you want to do is add the middle of each side of the square on the inside. You place a MFE or a MFS. In this case, a MFS. Next, what you do is you place cables on. Well, you place them like this. One, two, three. And then. On its back, you place one, two, three. So on its left, you place three, and on its back, you place three. And then on its right, you place one, two, three, just like this. Now, when you uh, do this at every side, and then you just add a little extra like this, three, four blocks, four blocks. This is the middle. So. When you apply this to each side, it starts looking a little like this. You can see. But then, there misses a little block in the middle. This block is the relay. Now, the relay is needed for directing all the power from the uh, solar trees and the solar flowers that are going to be in this thing downward, so you can store it somewhere. So, what you do is go down here and you place the relay like this now this has to face downwards else the power won't go down just to explain a little uh, the relay works like this little uh, white square wherever it faces it's where the power goes and it faces towards you when you place it so when you place it like this just like this very easy Now, for the solar trees and the solar flower. So, first what you want to do is place normal cables like this and switch cables. For some reason, it's inefficient to use normal cables, so just use switch cables for these. Now, for the solar trees, which are going to be the left and the back one, you place four extra cables like this. And then solar panels around it. Now solar flower, just five panels. The solar tree uses thirteen. So look like this and when you apply this to each side it starts looking like this now for the bigger solar tree in the middle I'm going to show you uh, kind of yeah the efficiency efficiency of each uh, solar for a tree and flower so the big solar tree is uh, something I make myself I don't know if any, uh, anyone else made it but yeah I made it it's 41 EU's, it's a big solar tree, it's uh, actually a lot of EU's for just one tree. This is the solar tree, the standard one, which uses 13 EU. And this is the solar flower, which only produces 5 EU. Now, let me just show you a little bit of the power it gives. First, comparison between the flower and the tree. Flower is around 500, tree is around 1000, 1500 actually. So when I place this at the big solar tree, this one is around 4000 almost, this one is already past 6000 now, 5000, 10000. So that's a lot of power. Next, how to build the big solar tree. Now, First, what you want to do is like uh, place a cable at the bottom, 
switch cable at the second and cable cable and another switch cable at the top so what you do is place two cables at the uh, bottom switch cable then place another switch cable you place three more cables so it looks like this no cable here because that's just going to screw up the wiring for some reason yeah it's just going to screw up and at the top you place these four just like with these normal solar tree and you place all solar panels and you uh, apply this thing to each side so it looks like this more and uh, looking like this as you see and then if you uh, want to attach the solar panels just don't place any solar panels on these four switch cables at this this and this one because they are going to be covered with these as you can see because then the solar panels here won't receive any power as you can see no power power no power power so you just place freaking solar panels everywhere well then eventually it starts looking like that thing so next oh crap um, you place the solar panel, the big solar tree, over here. So, cable, switch cable, 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 switch cable, extra cables on top, one, two, switch cable, three more, one, two, switch cable, three more, one, two, switch cable, three more. One, two, switch cable, and three more. And then you start placing the solar panels. Almost done. As you can see, one complete solar square. Now, what it, this thing uh, produces is around 165 EUs. So let's just look at how fast that goes. So let me just. Here's the entrance. So. Place some extra cables from the relay down. See 165 EU solar square. Place a MFS or a MFE. I prefer MFS because uh, MFE like stores around no, not nearly enough power. Now let's just look. That's really fast. Let me just grab my uh, EC manipulator see where it is your EC manipulator alright oh yeah um, crap alright uh, I made a little mistake so what you want to do instead of placing a relay you want to place another switch cable now you place one two if you place one more down it loses a lot of power now let me just show you how much power it gains within a second. Or yeah, let me just show you. Look at that. That's tons and tons of power just in a few seconds. Now that's it. Let me just show you again. 165 EUs. Let me just show you. I didn't add anything else. Now let's see the exit over here. Still the same. The only thing uh, I changed was oh yeah. What you also want to do is uh, 
make the output uh, 31 EUs at every side because in total it generates 41 EUs each side because you have here you have two um, solar trees at every side so times 13 6 and then plus 5 because of the solar flower you get 31 in each side well that's it I uh, hope you enjoyed it and goodbye